welcome everybody thank you for tuning in it's a happy new year to everybody today we're gonna learn on how to automate sounds and to use uh, browse parameters in FL studio I think automation is a very important tool when you are creating your music so now let's get on to it thank you for tuning in I'm just gonna create a basic drum pattern just to have a basic song that will work with the right at this point I'm gonna put morph in right at this point we'll put a bass pad and now our task is to automate that bass pad we will automate its volume that is we want the bass pad to fade in as in to rise from 0 db and rising in terms of its volume That's the bass uh, pad that we want to automate is you can see that uh, bass pad uh, line there. To automate the volume we open our Morphin plugin and go to the volume knob up there. We then right click on top of the volume knob and scroll down and select create automation clip this will automatically create a volume automation bar below our bass pad to automate the volume to make it fit in you drop down the left uh, end or the left end tail of the volume line your volume now will fit in from zero to your desired volume level That's our best paid volume automation. Now let's put a synth and try to automate it again. We will use the Spire VST to put our synth and then we'll automate it inside and automate the volume. And I'll show you another aspect that you can automate. You can automate many things. Volume automation is very wide. There are many things and elements within the track that you can automate.
now let's create our synth pattern volume we repeat the same process go to the plugin go to the volume knob right click it then select create automation clip said you can automate anything you can automate your volume your reverb or any element in your track so now i'm gonna show you how to automate the frequency cutoff in the track <music> as you can see my pointer uh, that's our cutoff knob on your upper left top corner there is a small triangle you click on the triangle and select browse parameters browse parameters search for cut off and select create automation clip that's your purple cut off automation clip there Automating cutoff points is a very interesting element as it helps to change the intensity and the tension of a sound and put more drama in it. Right, so now we have automated three points in our track. So let's hear the track from the start to the end and see how our automation plays in. that's how we do automation automation are very important you know they help to to put some color in your track and to say a story and to captivate the listener so it's a wise thing to apply them when making a song or when uh, designing your piece <music>
this was our first uh, part on automation in our next uh, part we learn more on automation we can use automation in uh, developing risers and other elements which i'll show you thank you for tuning in please like my channel and share with your friends god bless you and have a blessed 2021 i'm out it's minish code thank you